And then there's the functional aspects of family. Now, functional aspects um, have to do with how people get along. They have to, get, uh, have to do with communication. They have to do with what, what roles people f um, fulfill. Um, the power structures that are in there, control issues, many, many, many different things that we generally think about that are relational in aspect. I said less about this in my model in the book that I wrote than I did anything else because there's already a ton of literature. I don't disagree with that literature, all right? The functional piece is the functional piece. What I do disagree with is um, that what we're trying to address if I study single parent families and I come to conclusion about single parent families are less healthy than two parent families, right? As a nurse, what good does that do me? Can I change the fact that they're a single parent family? Probably not. And, and we already have a ton of evidence that says single parent families aren't as adequate as two parent families. So knowing more about that isn't gonna help me. As a nurse, what I really want to know is when I'm thinking about these functional aspects, the way people communicate, the way they get along, the way they assume roles within families within this context, how is, can I as a nurse make a difference? And so in this chapter, I talk about core processes. And these core processes are actual areas where nurses can go and think and, and begin to think about intervention or the, the tasks that we actually do. And so they're conceptual ideas that you can then uh, <clears throat> equate with the practice that you might actually do.